all right so what is going on youtube today we're going to do a little quick video um i just want to talk about a couple of things that are interesting to me that i look at from you know every every week or every two weeks or every couple of weeks and stuff like that <clears throat> this is yugiohprices.com now if you did watch my last market watch you know that i used this before and i told you guys to pick up omega anchor swings because they're you know at their pretty much not at their lowest but at their lowest they've been at for a while so yeah this is the top 100 most expensive cars that they do have on the site now uh i do look at this from time to time just to see what's going on and a lot of things on here is internet so let's just get straight into it now as for mentioned the uh crystal wing that I, I was talking about uh in my last market watch i don't know probably like two months ago two, two or three months ago i don't remember but i told everybody to pick up this card at 30 bucks it was literally like 30 to 35 bucks I said this card is only going to shoot up because DDD is needed, and it's just the end win which is needed. So pick them up, and now look at the price: seventy fucking dollars. Crazy! It's the most expensive, pretty much card in the game right now, which is crazy. Um, that is crazy. Like Crystal Wings from Shining Victories is the most expensive thing. Like a synchro. Wow! Like that's just crazy. It's mind boggling why this card is even reached seventy. But like I said. DDD's players needed and win which is players needed and since they got all their cards They're gonna need crystal wing because it's the best level eight to go into Best level eight win to go into because there's no reason to go to an indestructible stardust dragon That is this that is the dumbest shit that you can literally do <sighs> Excuse me With your deck. You don't want to go into an indestructible stardust dragon because it's already indestructible um, So that's just dumb. So yeah, like I said, I believe this might be the only level eight um when level eight i don't know probably have to look into that not only you guys know what the hell i mean the, the generic one the best one uh and another surprising thing is potter's desires is going down um this is pretty much i mean this is pretty much a given due to the decks that are going to be or due to zodiacs being the best deck most likely uh 95 percent sure that's going to be the best deck you do not want to potter desires away your mom or at because then you just you're just in the fucking world of hurt that you do not want to be in. So this is going to 60. So, I mean, they are going down just to think they were just 80 to fucking 100, 80 to 90, actually, like probably last month. So if you guys are picking up Pot of Desires, you can still hold off. But you never know, because if DDDs completely just destroy Zodiacs, this shit is shooting right back up to where it used to be. Sorry if you guys are wearing earphones or something like that. But. Yeah, this card is going to just shoot right back up to ninety to one hundred dollars because it's going to be like, okay, why well, pay, you know, five hundred dollars to play Zuyax when DDDs are thirty dollars and all I need is Pot of Desire and I can just completely shit on the deck. So if you, I, uh, I would, uh, I wouldn't say go buy it right now because, like I said, it's still, it's to me, it's still going to most likely keep going down. Um, it's probably going to hit fifty or forty uh actually no it's not gonna hit 40 it's gonna hit like 50 so i mean you can pick them up now because just in case uh ddds do just destroy zodiacs or something that just use positive desires destroy zodiac then you know you can these this card is just gonna go right back up and then you're not gonna be able to do it um another card uh i mean omega is 55 like i said they he, he was hovering around 40 i don't know why he jumped back up because like the abandonment is going to come out and this is like one of the most prime targets to get hit. So I don't understand why it shot back up. Maybe it's because it's a YCS in February or something. Um, another surprising thing is Tree Toad is $32. And the best counter to Zodiacs is a whole bunch of traps. So Paleozoics may even still do good because they can counter Zodiacs easily. And Tree Toad is only $32. So if you guys were waiting on buying Tree Toads or picking up Tree Toads, I mean, here's your chance to get it. Um, I mean, it can go down, but... This card uh, is, 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 is a Cyber Dragon Infinity, and it takes the card. Um, even though I don't like the Paleozoic deck, I think the Paleozoic deck is trash. It is a counter to Zodiacs. So that can be a good pickup for you if you do not want to purchase Zodiacs and stuff like that. Don't know why Dark Magic Circle is still $28. That is just retarded. Um, I don't think there's anything else that really caught my mind when I was going through. This really catches my mind. I don't know why that's $20. Um... Chiba Warriors at seventeen dollars for no reason. This card is at eighteen bucks. Um, this can be a good card. This can be a good counter. So maybe pick them up. 
but they might be going down. So uh, I'm right. I might. That's a card that if you get a good deal on, I definitely would pick three of those up. Um, what else? Is there anything else that is uh, surprising? Beals is going back up, which is really surprising. Um, let me see. Anything else? I think that is about it. Um, the lore is at twelve dollars. That's decent. Anti spellbreak is at twelve dollars. Um, Sukiomi's at twelve. Wow, this is only twelve pre order price. That is pretty decent. Yeah, so that's about it. Um, but yeah, so that that's it for the hundred uh, most expensive cards in the game that is meta relevant and stuff like that. So another thing I do want to go on to is the pretty much uh the top uh the top 100 most in demand cards as you can see right here these cards have been bought within the last week and then let me see how long was, how long is this video what five minutes all right so six minutes so i do want to keep this so i'm not going to really go too much in on this but these are some of the cards that people are buying uh that are the, the most bought cards pretty much in the last week you know according to Yu Gi Oh prices now of course they can't get every single purchase but you know they do they do have 777 just purchased in the last week and masterpiece true draco sayer has been bought 25 25 of them have been purchased which is crazy because i don't think we're getting draco's until probably april or something like that so wait is it april i don't know or is it may it's one of the two uh, yeah it's got to be may because it's three months okay so it's got to be may um but i got this is only 26 dollars i mean fall oh, shit not 26 dollars only 26 cents so you can pick up three of these for a dollar. You can pick up ten. You can pick up thirty of these for ten dollars. Like you can, you can make a lot of money. Just think about it. With ten dollars, um, you can buy thirty of these. And then, like, if wait, can you? Does this? I don't know if this is being played. I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, you're not buying it because it's not getting played. But <clears throat> you can easily make your money back in four months time. Or if you don't want to really do all that, just buy uh, what's the name? Just buy ten. Or not even ten, just buy three. If you if you're going to play the deck, buy three, buy six. It's only a dollar for three, so I would definitely pick some of those up. Um, if you got ten dollars to spare, just buy thirty. You're going to make it, at least you can sell them for a dollar a piece and get get thirty bucks. So, I mean, you can you can make twenty dollars, I guess. I don't know. Uh, a lot of people are buying into these stupid ass rulings or switch of life points and shit with ancient leaf. That is just dumb. If you have any of these, sell them immediately to the first person you see. That even asked about this card because that is the dumbest shit that I've ever heard of. That's just stupid. Um, never gonna even talk about it. But this card right here is being bought, which is crazy. I was like, why the hell is Tellswipe being now Tellswipe being bought? But then I read the effect and I was like, okay, that's why. Um, the effect is target one level five or higher dinosaur type monster. And if it's still faced up on the field, choose up to two monsters your opponent controls that have a lower level than it and, or are face down and return them to the hand. So this is pretty much a compulse. What's the name? Oh, it doesn't even target. Wow. It doesn't even fucking target. So this card is ridiculous. So pretty much what you can do is you have a non-targeting fucking double compulsory. Compulsory. I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying. That is pretty good. And they are getting a level five or higher. Don't, what is it? The, I think the main card is a level eight that you can just special summon. So just think about it. It doesn't bounce back to your hand or anything. You just target it and then just, just start spinning shit back to people's hand. That is crazy. This card is, you know, be, like I said, nine has been bought in the last week. So, if, you know, like I said, if you got a, a, a smooth dollar, just buy, you know, what's the name? It can't go down. You can only either, you can keep this, you can either spend a dollar to get three and have it possibly go up or you can spend a dollar and get three and play the damn deck and be you know because this might not get even get reprinted in the set so you may even just look up on a card so i mean not luck up on a card but there you go you already have me a deck so when time do come around you already got some um house of champs did talk about zombies and as you can see it really did do something look solitaire is being bought um snow is not a zombie uh but it is using fairly amount of zombie decks and it's going to be used in a, um what's the name the long morning next door deck so this is easily going up pretty much at three dollars right now as you can see what is this tail swipe all right we're going to exit that and this is another card it's probably uh one i got one more card after that i do want to really talk about because you know we are going up on 10 minutes and that is pretty uh, a pretty long time to be watching this video but yeah, this card is at three bucks. Um, this card was at ten when it came out, I believe. Um, but 
at three dollars this is pretty much a steal for any any dark magician deck and you never know they might even get more support because dark magician has been around since fucking Yu Gi Oh was started so three bucks eternal soul that and that's like literally a three of there's like there's no reason to play two there's no reason to play one it's literally a three of in every deck which is crazy considering it's it's three dollars and nobody's really buying them i mean well, i guess six people bought them or somebody bought six of them or you know two people bought three um you never know but that's definitely a card if you are you know planning on this either playing dark magicians or even if you're just trying to surprisingly like not surprising but you know trying to buy for the upcoming or not upcoming or in the future just to make some money back that can be a card that jumps up because like i said it's only a three it's only at three dollars and it's such a key card in a certain deck and then this is the last card i do want to talk about today is uh ties the brother now when this card came out it was i don't know well, how much was it 10 let me get to 20 dollars. let's go to this new history real quick um let me see how much it was because i know i when i wanted to get it it was expensive um look at that it, it was at a let wait what i could have swore it was more than this but look, it is at it was at eleven dollars, and at any time, any point in time, you can literally boost these back up. Now, if you really want to get special, Zodiacs can do this, but it'd be kind of it'd be real stupid to put it in the deck. Um, but uh, this card only being what's the name is uh, look, yeah, see, look, it was thirteen dollars at a point in time, but it didn't steadily go down. But like I said, this card can easily jump back up to thirteen to fifteen dollars because it's such a good card and you know i, I don't know i mean eidolons are coming out so you can literally tie to the brother and the eidolon and get two other cards out uh you can you know get a spy girl misty <laughs> and stuff like that but you can put this in spirals and i'm pretty sure i don't know if they have another level four earth but you can put this in spirals so i definitely would definitely if you got extra t i mean extra 10 12 dollars 15 dollars i don't know how much tax or shipping is but definitely pick some of these up this is crazy for this this good of a card to be only at four dollars that's crazy this card i definitely see going up in the future um so yeah that's gonna be definitely something that you guys can pick up and uh yeah so yeah that is it for today i just wanted to do that um you know because a lot of people don't really use Yu-Gi-Oh prices you know every market watch i ever watched you know they usually use uh tcg player and ebay and stuff like that but this is where i buy most of my cards i go on here i check and i go buy. i go to the you know go to the site and what's the name to buy the card so i got this is what i use and they have a, a neat feature on the home page that shows you what's going up and what's going down and as you can see uh spiral stupid agents that's eight dollars right now they were for um let me see karma cut look ultimate wear karma cut is only 452 crazy even though What's the name is a better card. They have, they have a, uh, what's the name is a, it's a Paleozoic card does the same thing, but it targets any card on the field. So that's completely the better. But Karma Cut was, you know, being used at a point in time. Formula Alchemist is at five. Uh, yeah, you can see all these cards that's going up and down and stuff like that. So this is why I really like to use this site because uh, sometimes you, you, you catch a deal that nobody else sees and you, bam, you can hurry up and easily snipe it. And then bam, you got yourself a cheap card and stuff. But yeah, that's it for today. Let me know if you guys do enjoy this video. Um, I don't mind doing these every week or whatnot. You know, you guys let me know. Like, if you, you know, I don't know, like, I don't keep stuttering. But yeah, let me know if you guys did, did enjoy this video by leaving a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of, you know, the, the cards I talked about or some cards that you've seen that I did not talk about. Uh, and also subscribe if you enjoyed this. I upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1 p.m. And sometimes, well, over the last week, I've been I uploaded on Tuesday and Thursday. So you, you never know. I'm just going to do, I'm going to say this. I upload a minimum of three videos um, uh, a week. So you guys do get three videos. So, yeah, subscribe if you do enjoy this. And also click the ad to help support the channel, which would be very helpful. And it, I appreciate it very much. So, yeah, that is it for today. I will see you guys on Monday or possibly tomorrow.